Okay, so you only need to take a few steps to solve this equation. Let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. We have 17 is equal to 29 plus 3m over 4. And what we want to do here is solve for m. Matter of fact, you only have to take two steps to solve this equation. All right, now, if you could figure this out, well, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll look at these uh, steps to solve this equation. I'm also going to be discussing uh, something else about these types of equations in algebra. Now, uh, what I'm going to be discussing, this is a little bit of a bonus, but it's, you definitely need to know it. It's not going to be the way we're going to directly solve this equation. Uh, but it's a technique that you need to understand because it comes up all the time in algebra. All right, but to, before we get to all of that, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, here is the equation. Let me erase this here so you can see this. So again, uh, two steps, right, to get to M. That's the most direct path. Now, uh, whatever you're going to do here, okay, if you're going to attempt to solve this equation, make sure you show your work, because if you get something wrong, you can see the step that you don't understand. All right, let's go to take a look at the answer. M is equal to negative 16. All right, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, well, you're definitely going to get a happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for solving basic two-step linear equations. Congratulations. All right, so uh, we're talking about basic algebra here, stuff that you probably uh, learn, or most of you uh, would learn, like in a pre-algebra course. So don't feel bad if you didn't get this wrong. You've probably been away from math for a long time, or maybe you uh, you just don't understand this, but this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. All right, so here is our problem. Now, as I indicated, uh, this is what we call a two-step equation in algebra. Now, uh, you know, we're going to be talking about two steps here, but what is a one-step equation? Some people might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, if this is a two-step, what does a one-step equation look like? Well, let me show you a quick example. So if you have 2x is equal to 8, to solve this equation right here, uh, it requires exactly one step. That is to divide both sides of the equation by 2. And now we have x is equal to 4. We have solved the equation. Let's take a look at another example of a one-step equation. How about y plus 1 is equal to 5? All right, so to solve this equation, all we have to do is subtract 1 from both sides of the equation and we get y is equal to 4, exactly one step to solve this equation. So when you uh, first start to learn how to solve linear equations in algebra, you start off with one-step equations. Now, uh, this uh, topic right here, one-step equations, um, you know, for most of you, you might say, well, this is pretty easy stuff. Well, make sure you understand everything that is involved in one-step equations, uh, particularly when you have a fractional coefficient, okay? But you got to master one-step equations, then you move on to two-step equations, what we have right here, and then you get into something called multi-step equations. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, these two steps. Now, before I show you those steps, let's just kind of get some basic um, algebra concepts. Um, this is make sure you understand some basic algebra concepts. That's what I want to say. All right, so when you're solving a linear equation, now I keep using this word linear, all right, because it's going to come up over and over in your algebra classes. Now, if you look at this uh, right here, the root word is line, okay? So this is like line, linear, line equation. Now, this gets into a big topic in algebra in terms of how to graph lines uh, or graph linear equations. But what makes this a linear equation is that our variable here is to the first power, okay? So this is really m to the first power. If this equation was uh, 3m squared, well, this is an entirely different type of equation called a quadratic equation, uh, and it would require uh, completely different techniques. All right, so we're dealing with a linear equation, basic algebra equations. All right, now, typically what you want to do is get all your variables to the left-hand side of the equation, 
and all your numbers on the right hand side. Now here, if we're going to do that, we would have to take this variable term, move it over here, and then we would have to take this number and move it over here to link up with this number. Okay, so we'd have to actually do uh, more um, two steps just to get this in this format. In other words, get the variable part, this part, on the left and the numbers on the right. But you don't have to do that, okay? So you want to, typically, you have all the variables on the left and all the numbers on the right, but sometimes you have a situation like what we have right here where it's easier just to have your numbers on the left and your variables on the right, okay? In other words, if you have a situation where it's less work to, and you have this situation where it's just easier to keep your variable on the left and your numbers, I'm sorry, your numbers on the left and your variables on the right, then, you know, stick with this, right? Don't do the double work to get all the variables on the left and all the numbers on the right. So hopefully you understand what I'm talking about because this would uh, turn this equation, if we put it in this format right here, we would be looking at a three-step equation. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, if we're going to keep our um, variable term on the right-hand side, well, then we have to move this number over to the left-hand side, right? So then when we do that, we'll have one number over here and our variable term over here, and then, of course, we'll take the last step to solve for m. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So 17 is equal to 29 plus uh, 3 uh, fourths m. Okay, so this is 3m over 4. Now, this right here can, tends to confuse students. Let me just go ahead and clear up any confusion. So 3m over 4 is equal to 3 fourths m. Okay, so these uh, expressions or these terms are equivalent. Okay, so 3 fourths m is equal to 3m over 4. So if you're more comfortable seeing your uh, variable term as a uh, coefficient where the fraction is clear, 3 fourths m, then that's fine. But just remember, this thing and this thing are is the same, all right? And you're going to get equations where the variable is in the numerator. All right, so what we're going to do here is uh, move this 29 over to the left-hand side. And we have to keep in mind the golden rule of algebra. Remember, this equal sign is effectively a uh, seesaw, balance scale, teeter-totter, all depending on uh, what part of the country, I guess, um, you come from. I don't even know if these things exist in playgrounds anymore. I just remember being uh, a young kid in the early 1970s. These were so much fun. I mean, you would go to the playground and we'd be just throwing each other's off, woo, you know. But uh, again, I don't <laughs> hopefully they exist. They're pretty fun, but obviously you can get hurt on these things. But what's the idea? Well, it, we're, we're talking about balance, okay? So the idea in algebra, the golden rule of algebra is this. You can do whatever you want to an equation. I can add one over here as long as I add one over here. Now, why would I want to add one? Well, there's no particular reason, but I could do it, and I wouldn't break the equation. Okay. Now, I could subtract whatever I want from both sides, multiply well, pretty much whatever I want from both sides, and divide. All right. But again, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this uh, solution right now. Okay, so I want to get rid of this 29 on the right-hand side. I want to say, okay, Mr. 29, i got to get you over here. So I can, how can I get rid of this 29 on the right-hand side? Easy. Let's just subtract a 29 from 29. So uh, if we do that, it's basically we're going to create a zero. Now the 29 is going to disappear. But remember, if I subtract 29 on the right-hand side, I also have to subtract 29 on the left-hand side. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to add down in a column format. So we're going to have 17 plus negative 29 is negative 12. 29 minus 29 is 0. We don't need to write the 0, and I'm kind of showing a space right here as the result of having 29 minus 29. And then we have uh, 3m over 4 plus nothing is 3m over 4. Now, in practice, you're not going to have this variable term, you know, kind of far away from the equal sign, but I wanted to show you what was going on here so you understand the concept. So 29 minus 29 is 0. We don't need to write that. So you kind of want to bring this in closer. So what we have right here is negative 12 is equal to 3m over, uh, 3m over 4. All right, so there's only one more step we need to take to solve this equation. Now, remember... Uh, 3m over 4 is the same thing as 3 fourths m. Now, anytime you are dealing with a, a fraction in front of a variable, 
what you want to do is flip this thing upside down and multiply it by both sides of the equation. You'll learn this when you're solving one step equations. Let's go ahead and take a look at this last step. All right, so we have negative 12 is equal to 3m over 4. Again, we're thinking of this as 3 fourths m, or if you could just kind of understand that 3m over 4 is the same thing as 3 fourths in your brain, that's fine. But to solve for m, what we want to do here is multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal. So we're going to take this 3 fourths and flip it upside down. Now, why is that? Well, because when we multiply uh, 4 over 3 times 3 fourths, we're going to get 3 times 4, which, of course, is 12. You know how to multiply fractions, right? We're going to multiply the numerators, and then we're going to multiply the denominators. 4 times 3 is 12, so 12 over 12 is 1. So that's what we want. We want 1m or m. But remember, whatever we uh, do on this side of the equation, we also have to do to the other side as well. All right, so we have 4 over 3 times the negative 12. The easiest way to do this is take this 3 and divide it into negative uh, 12, which is 4. So negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. Or you can simply multiply these fractions, and you'll get negative 16. All right, so a real, you know, hopefully a nice and slow explanation of how to solve a two-step equation with fractions. Now, I want to talk about this thing that I was, um, uh, you know, basically in my little intro here that you need to kind of keep in mind when you see an equation with fractions. So let's go ahead and talk about that. But before we do that, I need you to quickly hit that subscribe button. Now, I am not shy to ask for help. In other words, hey, I need help to grow my YouTube channel. And the only way I can reach my goals is to get you to say, all right, I'll help you out. I'll hit that subscribe button, and if you're going to do that, you might as well hit that notification bell as well. Now, uh, the reason why I want to grow my channel is to reach as many people as possible so I can help them. Hopefully, you're getting value from this video, and if that's the case, of course, you know, subscribing, you know, is a great way to show your support, but it's also a way for me to connect with other people, okay? I wouldn't stop this video and ask for help unless I, you know, really needed uh, your support. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind if you are learning math or whatever you might be learning or just in general in life is when you don't understand something or if you're struggling, you know, look for help. Okay? But who is helping you? Okay? When it comes to math, you really want to find someone who has a lot of experience. So if you need additional help okay, beyond this video, check out my full main math courses again uh, in the description. You're probably talking about like pre-algebra or Algebra 1 for the things that we're talking about in this particular video. Now, if you are not a math student and you're like, you know what, I just like to rebuild my math skills, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. But let's get back to uh, this uh, topic of linear equations with fractions or any equations with fractions. Now, oftentimes, students were like, okay, I got an equation, uh, you know, there's uh, fractions in my equation. You know, and I don't like to deal with fractions. You know, people are like, okay, I don't like fractions. You know, it's just the worst. I don't want to do that. Let me just uh, make another comment here. You don't want to take your fractions and turn them into decimals. Don't do that, okay? So you got to be able to work with fractions. So you're going to have to kind of pay a fraction price one way or another in a problem. But a great approach uh, to solving equations with multiple fractions, okay, and sometimes even with just one fraction, is to multiply the entire equation by the lowest common denominator. Okay, so we have 17 or 17 over 1, 29 over 1, and then 4 is our denominator. So we have 4, 1, and 1. So the LCD here, or the lowest common denominator, is 1. Hopefully most of you knew that, but again, if you need review, you know where to go. All right, so let's go ahead and do that, uh, and we're going to see that by multiplying uh, the entire equation by the LCD, it clears the fractions out. Now, it, you know, you're taking an additional step, but for those of you just that, you know, don't like fractions, you can do this as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we have 4, again, which is our LCD. We're going to multiply it by 17, 29, and uh, 3m over 4. Let's start over here, okay, 3m over 4. When we multiply 3m uh, over 4 times 4, or 4 over 1, See, the 4s cross cancel, okay? And what you're left with is just simply 3m. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and take care of this uh, multiplication. 
So 4 times 17 is 68. 4 times 29 is 116. And then, of course, 4 times 3m over 4 is 3m. All right, now we have a lovely basic two-step linear equation with no fractions, okay, because we cleared all the fractions out. And now let's go ahead and solve this, and you're going to see that we're going to get the same answer. All right, so same issue over here. We have the variable on the right-hand side. Let's just keep this in place. We'll subtract 116 from both sides of the equation. And, of course, we're going to add down in a column manner. And, again, this format that I'm using, you definitely want to follow it. There's other formats when it comes to solving uh, uh, linear equations. Use this one. I've been doing this for a long, long time. This is the best method uh, for sure. All right, so 68 minus 116 is negative 48. Uh, 116 minus 116, or 116 plus a negative 16 is 0, and then 3m plus nothing is 3m. So now we're down to a one-step equation. So to solve for m, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 3. And let's go to take a look at the answer. Obviously, it, it's the same answer, negative 16. All right, so again, what we're talking about here is linear equations. You have to master... Uh, linear equations before you move on to more exciting things in algebra. Matter of fact, just real quick, uh, for those of you that may not be familiar uh, with a lot of algebra, in algebra, you don't say, hey, I need to solve some algebra equation. Teach me how to solve algebra equations. Well, which type? Okay, so we have linear equations. We have uh, systems of equations. We have quadratic equations. We have radical equations. We have rational equations. We have exponential equations. We have... Um, uh, let's see, our logarithmic equations. I can go on and on and on. And each one of these uh, types of equations uh, requires different knowledge, skills, and methods. So algebra is a huge topic, but you can't study these more advanced equations until you get your basic algebra skills down. Again, linear equations. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.